It's crazy. If we'd have been asleep. Thank God we weren't. Michelle Gray has virtually nothing left in her second floor apartment, but she realizes it could have been worse. Well, I heard cracking and popping and looked out my sliding glass door and there was flames just shooting up and before you know it, I ran and then it was everywhere. It was quick, very quick. The flames broke out around 10 o'clock Thursday night at this building at the intersection of Ashworth Avenue and C Street. On the first floor is a soup kitchen and laundromat. Upstairs were six apartments. Our crew started arriving and we had a significant wind out of the west and uh, this was certainly a wind driven fire. You can see from the surrounding buildings that there was a significant amount of heat. Judy Conway owns Farr's famous chicken across the street. She says firefighters did a great job with the buildings packed so tightly together. Just full flames, the whole building was engulfed, but thank God the wind was blowing the other way because the winds were so strong last night, so it, luckily it didn't affect our business. Bob Preston owns the property. He says he'll rebuild. Um, but to see it now, it's, it's, it's devastating. You know, The poor people in the apartments uh, lost whatever they had, and the people in the soup kitchen won't have a place to go. The state fire marshal's office is leading the investigation. No word yet on a cause. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.